Hello, I'm Fuma. I'm going to go through the second part of the Twitch Interaction Installation video. Now, the first part, we install the particle system onto the avatar, and then the animation system onto the avatar as well. This one, we're going to go through setting up the bot. Now, one small change I made to the package since the last video was adding a new controller called Local FX. If you merge this Local FX controller instead of the Twitch FX controller, this will have all the animations and sounds and all the little effects run locally only for you, not everyone else in the room. It's an alternative if you wanted it. I think most people will use the Twitch FX controller, but this is here if you want it as an alternative. Let's get started with the Twitch bot. Now, I'm going to go through a lot of stuff in this video, but it's all written in this install guide, so you can go through it, look at it later on if you want to. But some people are visual learners, so let's do a video. So I'm going to go to the Twitch bot directory. This is where we have the bot in a configuration file. You can never run the bot from inside Unity itself. Always right click and run it from Explorer. Um, it will not read the configuration file if you run it from inside Unity. It's one of those things. Let's look at the configuration file. Now you can use any you know, text editor that you want. Notepad, WordPad, Notepad++, whatever you want to do. Um, it doesn't matter. You just want to be able to edit the text. I'm going to step you through what this configuration file does. First part up here, we just need to have your, to uh, your bot token. Again, this is not your stream key. This is the token generated for any kind of Twitch bot to, all, to listen to your chat. Let's go ahead and get that right now. So I'm going to close this out. I'm going to right-click, Show and Explorer. Let's take a look at the bot. I'm going to run the bot once. And say, I can't find you know, the token. What do we do? We're going to bring the back, bot back up to the forefront. It says, cannot find the token for Fuma. It's going to take me to a page to authorize uh, the bot to listen to channel points, subscriptions, and uh, stream chat. So this allows it to see redemptions and throw commands, things like that. If you authorize it, it will give you a little token. Take this token, you know, copy it, paste it. Let's go back to Unity. You paste it in here. I'm going to close the bot down. Let's not have it open right now, but you paste the token in here. Again, fully inside the quotation marks provided. Don't leave any text in there. Just fully overwrite whatever, whatever that token gives you. Breaking down the configuration file itself, it's separated in different parts, commands, redemptions, bits, and different events. For commands, they're all preceded by the exclamation mark. So if you do exclamation mark ragdoll or bits or throw or any kind of test commands, it will run it, run these little animations. It's set up by default that only you as the broadcaster can run these things. That's controlled by this value here, broadcaster access true. Everything else is false. That means only you can run it. If you want other people to run these commands, you just set it to true, like normal access means anyone can run it. Subs only, mods only, VIPs only, so forth. Now they're broken out to different actions. You'll see them listed here. The random action function means that if it's set to false, all these actions will run. All these parameters will be transmitted to your avatar. If it's set random action equals true, only one of these actions will be sent to your avatar. This allows you to give some random effects, or if you want to make sure certain values are set certain ways, you set it to false instead. Now, when you run this command, it will send this parameter to your avatar, to that animator controller. It will run it for so many seconds. It will set the value to whatever you need to. And then after it's done running, it will set it back to return value. These are set up, again, this section for the ragdoll system you so choose to use it, but also for testing bits, for testing the throws, so the random throw system, or the Twitch Plays VR Chat system, which is the, the movement system where you can move back and forward, turn left, turn right. Um, the values for these, for the, again, the, the movement system, um, for looking, if it's a positive value, it'll turn you clockwise, or if it's a negative value, it'll turn you counterclockwise. Now, this can also be set for partial values like 1.5 or 9.2 or whatever you want to do. These are just default values to make it fun, play around with it, you know, make it your own, have fun, see what's, make, what's comfortable for you, and what's fun to add a little randomness and chaos into the, <laughs> into the chat. Again, these are test commands that are also included, like follow test, or, you know, exclamation point follow test, exclamation point subtest, so forth. These will run these animations to make sure that they work. If you're swapping in your own animations, you can just see how they, how they work. The reward system. Now, it's set up to be when you set a new redemption or an existing redemption and you have the bot running, it initially will not recognize the redemption. It will say, 
Fuma ran a redemption. Uh, you know, we'll say redemption ID, all sorts of numbers and letters. Um, copy that. Copy that series of numbers and letters and paste it fully, again, between these quotation marks. So for if a remove of redemption, set up a redemption for someone donates redemptions or channel points for movement, it will give you alphanumeric series of numbers and letters. Again, just paste whatever that is into here between the quotation marks. Then it will work just like that. This is set up for movement, for throwing, for head pat, and for the ragdoll system if you chose to use it. You can always expand it in whatever you want to do. Now, this will run different animations if someone donates bits to you. Again, these are direct bits, not through Steam Labs. Steam Labs might come later. Right now, it's just direct bits to you. Um, it'll run different animations between the different tiers of bits set by, by default by Twitch, but you can always change these thresholds as you want to. Now, it'll also run events if someone subscribes to you. Again, it'll run it if it's a prime sub, tier one, tier two, or tier three. Just by default, it's gonna run the same animation, but you can always swap it out, make it more special for the higher tiers. I don't know, up to you, make it fun. Get for resubscribing for so many months and so forth. Um, if someone hosts you, if you ban someone, time someone out, if they follow you. That's basically it. Um, after you set this up, put your token in, save it, close it, run the bot. After the bot runs, it should say, listening for a topic. That means it's listening to your chat and waiting for some input. You can try a command like exclamation, hash, exclamation throw or bits or something. Look at yourself in game, see if it works. Give it a try. Hope you have fun with this. I figure I should record a short demo of what this package actually does. I go through all this time explaining it, but not really actually demonstrating it. So when the Twitch bot is fully set up, um, the default package allows um, random items to be thrown at you. Again, you can always set it up to be specific items or not so random, whatever you want to do. Again, tennis balls, footballs, got some tacos, basketballs, dog treats, seashells, whatever you want to do. You can have um, bit commands run different animations whenever someone subscribes with a bit. That's a big one. Um, you can have the ragdoll system or any other custom animation that you might have, like alpha changes, things like that, um, trigger. So, you know, you can run custom animations that you might have already set up in your avatar already. Um, we can also do the Twitch plays uh, via chat system where it'll do either a fixed movement or a random movement as you need to, moving forward, back, uh, Again, randomly strafing left and right. It can actually make you turn around if I can get it to turn around randomly. Let's see some chance here. Oh, there we go, turning around. Again, just want to show you what this is possible. Again, it run any, any animation um, by redemptions, channel points, bits, hard commands, followers only, mods only, yourself only, whatever you want to do. Again, just have fun. Hope you all enjoy this.